Let's talk a little bit about when you find yourself in a situation where you need to set a boundary. I'm going to give you some ideas, some thoughts. So one of the ones I use all the time, and actually I didn't really originate this. This is from the nonviolent communication, Marshall Rosenberg. I would like to make a simple request. This is something that no matter what it is you're saying, and then you can add what the boundary preference or request is. I'd like to make a simple request that you be more quiet when you come into bed at night if I'm already sleeping so that I so that you don't wake me up. That is a simple request. Again, any request that you may have is simple. It doesn't mean the other person is going to do it. So these are sentence starters that I'm going to want you to start thinking about. I wanted to bring to your attention. That's another one. So then you would go on to say, last week in the meeting, when I was talking, I noticed that you were on your cell phone and I found it very distracting while I was trying to give my presentation. And then you can move into that, you know, so I'd like to make a request that you don't do that. You know, I wanted to revisit what happened last Wednesday, last summer, as I like to say in the summer of 78, a lot of times people feel like they can't bring something up. They, they miss their moment. Like, do you ever feel like if you didn't say it in the moment, you can't bring it up because they're going to say, why didn't you bring it up in the moment? And you're like, uh, but I'm bringing it up now. So I love this sentence. I wanted to revisit what happened last Wednesday. It's a super easy way to do it. And if the person says, why didn't you bring it up then? You can say, actually, I'm bringing it up now. I mean, and if it's someone you care about and you don't mind giving them context, you can give them context and say, you know, I didn't realize it until after the fact how bothered I was by our interaction, but I don't want it to be between us. So I wanted to bring it up when someone is asking you to do something, right? They want you to go to a concert. They want you to go out to dinner, whatever it is. We really want to, especially if you're someone who has a tendency to say yes right away, that we don't want to do that. We sort of want to get away from the Insta or auto yes. So you're able to start with something nice, like, hey, thank you for thinking of me. I'll have to check my calendar. Thank you for thinking of me. I'll have to check with my partner. There's a lot of ways that we can not give an instant yes. I give myself 24 hours to make decisions. I have a 24 hour decision making rule. Like there's a whole bunch of things that you can say, but what you're really doing is buying time so that you give yourself permission to actually think about if you want to do it or not. For someone who is coming back at you, you actually are saying no. Like it's a deal breaker for you. It's something that you don't want to do. And the person keeps coming back and trying to wear down your no. Have you ever had that experience? One thing you can say is, my answer is non-negotiable. Please respect it. You can say, my answer is final. You can say, hey, I already gave you my answer and it's not changing. So please respect that. Another thing that you can do, especially if it's something that's passed, is you can say, I want you to be aware of how I feel about our interaction the other night, right? Again, it's like I'm putting it on your radar. <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth said, my favorite from Boundary Bootcamp is, you've asked and I've answered. Yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> we should have that in. I mean, we have boundary scripts everywhere, obviously in the course itself, you guys, but that's a really good one. That That is short and sweet. You can also just say, no, thanks. But I use this in a particular way. So if someone's like, hey, do you want a donut? I say, no, thanks, if I don't want a donut. Um, but if I have my racist Uncle Mike saying some bullshit I don't want to hear, I also say, no, thanks. So I use no, thanks in different ways. Another way of starting, sentence starter is, I need to tell you that. You coming to my apartment, using my key without my knowledge, borrowing my clothes, doesn't work for me. Right, let's just say. So we, we put the whatever the boundary violation is or the boundary request. You can also just simply say no. 